Hey, insight number four here. Um, so we're in section 77 through 80 this week. This is the fourth one. We're going to look at section 79. Um, now section 79 and 80 are just two short little mission calls and you're like well why did they put these mission calls in here what can we learn from these things because they're like one's four verses one's five verses very very short kind of like why are they even in here did we really need to know what can we learn from them because that's what we're asking this is part of pondering and reading scriptures and letting your mind wander where the spirit leads you not just wander randomly but wander where the spirit leads you as to why these are here and what you can learn from them. So what did I get from this? Well, 79 is given to a man called Jared Carter. And we're going to focus on verses 2 to 4 because this is going back from our last theme of living and thanksgiving. So I love that, living and thanksgiving. And uh, Thanksgiving for most of the world, they think about the Americans having Thanksgiving at, when is it, October, I think, or November, somewhere in there. Kind of an autumn thing. Um... And good for them, great holiday. Uh, the rest of the world doesn't really do that, uh, but we could live in Thanksgiving every day. And I think that's really important. I, I think it's lovely that you have a day that you sit down and say what you're thankful for, but you should do that every day. Right? We try to do that every day. Dave and I do that at the end of every day, have a discussion around everything that happened. There's some ickies. This is what we're grateful for and have some thankfulness in there. So this is about Jared living and Jared Carter living in Thanksgiving. So verse 2 says, And I will send upon him the comforter, which shall teach him the truth and the way whither he shall go. And inasmuch as he is faithful, I will crown him again with sheaves. Wherefore, let your heart be glad, my servant Jared Carter, and fear not, saith the Lord, even Jesus Christ. Amen. So it's like, well, what's he talking about? He's going to crown him with sheaves? Sheaves of wheat, bundles of wheat. You're going to crown him with bundles of wheat? So that was interesting. And I'm like, why would he say that? Who's Jerry Carter and why would he say that? So let's look at that. So, um, I don't know, write this down. Oh my gosh. So Stephen, Jared Carter, sorry. Jared Carter was a farmer and he was a wheat farmer. So he knew what bundles of wheat were. He knew what sheaves were. So this is like talking again in the language that you understand because most of us these days are going to go sheaves what's that um the only reason i know is my granddad used to sing a song called bringing in the sheaves which maybe some of you know i'm not going to sing it for you it's pretty bad um <laughs> when he was working hard that's what he used to sing so i asked him what it was and he told me um but you're going to go look that up but sheaves here is a symbolic is symbolic of people uh, to go gather people because he's been called on a mission. So he, the Lord's saying to him, Jared, just like you went on your farm and you gathered wheat together and you called it sheaves and you had a lot of them because you planted and you were righteous and you did good stuff and um, I blessed you with a good crop. If you go out and preach the gospel, I will crown you with sheaves of people, groups of people. Um, so have you ever been crowned with people? I know, it's like, what? It's with me. You've been crowned with sheaves of people? You probably have. So think of all the people that have helped you, um, who you've helped. Uh, your family, your friends, ward members, ones you've taught, groups you've been part of. True gladness of heart comes from fulfilling relationships. That true thanksgiving and that spirit of thankfulness comes in our relationships with other people, not things. We can have so many things and still not quite have that joy and thanksgiving that we desire because that truly comes from our interactions with others. Um, fulfilling relationships with others, yes. Bundles of people. There you go, crowned with bundles of people. The harvest of our lives is all the people we were led to by the Lord or have been led to us by the Lord. And living in thanksgiving will bring gladness and joy to your heart because those relationships you have with these people, especially those that you were led to by the Lord or the ones that were led to you by the Lord, are just a beautiful relationship that you can foster that will actually bring you true thankfulness because when we sit down and say what we're thankful for, it's not often, you know, the car or all that really cool top I had, or my new shoes. And like, yes, we're thankful for those too. But the most desired thing that you're thankful for, the biggest burning thing you're thankful for, is probably going to be a person. Probably. Not always, not every day. 
but probably a person and your relationship with them is what you're going to be thankful for. So keep that in mind. That's where true thankfulness and that thanksgiving comes from. That's where it is. Now, President Monson, he said, uh, what is most important almost always involves the people around us. And that is so true. The people around us is what's most important. And you'll find that what becomes most important, think about what's most important in your life right now, it will probably involve the people around you. So be crowned with these wonderful sheaves of people and the way that you love them, the way they love you, because that's the beautiful thing that is just going to give you so much joy. So that's what I got from that. Maybe you got something different. If you did, share it with us. But nonetheless, that's what I got. I thought I'd share that with you and uplift you. Uh, you are some of my people. You are some of my sheaves of people. You wonderful, darling, wonderful people out there. Um, and the ones that I know personally, of course. Got some really good people in my life. And I am very thankful for them. That's awesome. All right. That's insight number four. I will see you shortly for insight number five.